told you. Again, Mr. Coke. Of course I did. Very well. Don't worry about me. In this will, your late husband left you a life interest in his entire estate. After your death, it is to be distributed equally among the children. As you know, Elmer relied upon you to look after them. No more than my duty when I became their stepmother. However, Mrs. Boynton, there is a second will. Second will? Signed two days before he died. This is the last will and testament of Elmer D. Boynton of Milk House, Spittletown, New Just the meat and potatoes, Mr. Cope. The estate is to be divided equally. You and the children receiving approximately uh, $200,000 each. I don't believe it. Bring that here. I want to see that for myself. Elmer knew the children were not fit to take control of their own affairs. He must have changed his mind. Elmer changed his mind only under my direction. It's perfectly valid, Mrs. Boynton. Shall we uh, read the will? Have you ever done a discreditable act, Mr. Cope? Not professionally, I hope. The affair of the Bolivian Silver Mining Corporation has slipped your memory? I'm not sure what your... Uh... It used to be called share pushing, Mr. Cope. If it were to come to the attention of the United States Law Society, you'd be instantly disbarred and probably go to prison as well. How did you know about that? I did not serve in the prison service 14 years for nothing. People trusted me with their little secrets. Your partner, for example. She went inside, didn't she? She told me all about you, and I can prove it. Well, Mrs. Boynton, I was, uh, I was young, ambitious. This room has gotten a little chilly. Why not get a nice, cheerful blaze going? Go ahead. A wise decision, Mr. Cole. Now we'll call the others. Bring in the children. My dearest children, Lennox, Carol, Raymond, and Ginevra, I leave in the good and loving hands of Emily Boynton. And to my wife, Emily Boynton, I leave a life interest in my estate. On her death, I leave it shared equally among my aforementioned and beloved children. No. Jesus Christ! What? Impossible! I don't believe it. And now, children, I have a lovely surprise. Another one, stepmother? My three stepchildren, whom I love as I do my own daughter, Ginevra. And you, Nadine, my dear daughter-in-law. I've arranged for us all to go to Europe and the Holy Land. It will clear the air of death. Does that include Mr. Cope? Certainly not. Mr. Cope has work to do here. <laughs>